हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू टेक ब्रो अमेजिंग क्रिएटर्स ट्रांजिशन आर एन असेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो एडिटिंग बिकॉज दे हेल्प मेंटेन अ स्मूथ फ्लो बिटवीन सीन्स एंड इनहेंस ऑल ओवरऑल विजुअल अपील देर मेन पर्पज इज टू क्रिएट सीमलेस मोमेंट फ्रॉम वन शूट टू द नेक्स्ट विच कीप्स योर ऑडियंस इंगेज यू माइट ऑलरेडी बी फैमिलियर विद कॉमन ट्रांजिशन लाइक स्कट फेड्स वाइब्स एंड डिजॉल्व टूडे वी आर टार्किंग थिंग्स अप आर नॉच In this tutorial I will show you how to create a stylish clock style mask transition using Filmora 14. So link is available in the video description so let's dive in. Before we begin make sure you have downloaded and installed the latest version of Filmora from the official website After logging in install the software and here is the software interface Open Filmora and import the clip you want to use Drag and drop it onto the timeline and start by splitting the video at the beginning of each new location Next we will create our mask transition go to the mask setting and select the circle mask Adjust it to resemble a clock face then duplicate this mask clip and place the duplicate on track 3 Go back to the clip on the track 2 scroll down and invert the mask Now select the clip on track 3 move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and increase the scale until the footage from track 1 is completely visible At the end of the clip reset the scale back to the normal To make the effect more realistic select the clip on track 3 go to the basic settings scroll to the shadow option and enable it set the shadow type of projection the distance to 8 blur to 5 and opacity to 65 add on opacity keyframe at the start of the clip at the end set the shadow opacity to 0 now let's add our zoom out blur effect Go to the effect panel and open Boris FX then blur and apply the BCC radial blur to the track 3 clip. Open the blur setting, move to the playhead 5 frames in and set a blur keyframe then at the end of the clip change the blur amount to 0. After that render your project to preview the final result. Looks amazing, right? You can take it even further by using smart cutout or mask to isolate building or other element and animate them individually. Just remember to keep the transition short. About 15 to 20 frames from the smoothness result. Have fun experimentingly. So link is available in the video description and that's it for today's video. I hope you will found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.